Hi, welcome back to Colts KRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Hi, welcome back to Colts KRC. So today we're going to do, I hate to use the word review, but I suppose it is a review of the Mavic. Sorry, the GGI Mini 2, it's not the Mavic Mini 2 obviously anymore. And the reason I say I hate to use the word review, I'm going to review it as to what I've seen so far. But I've had a little flight, I can't really do a review. I don't think you can get an honest review until about a month in. So what I'm going to do is this review today, and then a month or so down the line, I'll get loads of flights in and then I'll give you a final opinion. So when I reviewed this, the original one, I uh, got quite a lot of criticism on the video saying I was over harsh. It was doing exactly what it was meant to do. What do you expect for the money? It's a beginner drone. And I take all that on on board, but I still agree with my first impressions of this, which has now been improved drastically through firmware updates and everything else. And it's now a really nice thing. It's still bad in the wind, obviously. Um, but, yeah, it does the job. So what do I think of this? So, at the end of this video you're going to see some footage. I uh, just wanted to break that down for you first. You're going to see video footage taken straight off this card. There will be no editing done on the editing software. Colours will be looking exactly as did. Nothing will be over sharpened. It will be straight raw out of there. You'll also see, if you just go straight to this, you're going to think, what's he doing just hovering around? You'll also see me hover quite a few times in the air. That's because it's like 13 to 15 mile an hour winds today. So that's why I wanted to do the video today. So I've flown this in 13 to 15 mile an hour winds, so you're going to see it hover, and hopefully when it's hovering, you'll see it getting, you will, will not see it getting buffeted about by the wind, or you might see minor. I have not checked the video, so you're going to see it when I finish doing the video, but I have not actually watched the video that's on the card. So you're going to see that, you're going to see what it looks like. So what can I, what can tell you about the way it flies compared to the other one is... This one in 13 to 15 mile an hour winds will have far more movement in the air. That is without a doubt. It, it will not be as smooth in the air and it will not be as smooth in a hover as the new one. The motors do look slightly different. Well, they are different motors. There's no doubt about the fact they're different motors. So if you look at this motor, I can show you them motors. Okay. Well, if you look at this motor, it's not just got, in fact, it's got pretty props. The motors are actually different. Now, I don't know whether there's more, there looks to be, it might be an optical illusion, more windings inside this motor. But what I can tell you is, it definitely performs better in the wind. However, when it was coming back to me, the speed dropped drastically down. But it's 13 to 15 mile an hour winds. Now if you buy a bigger drone, obviously, not going to be affected by it. However, it did behave better in the wind. But bear in mind... If you're flying anything over that, I certainly wouldn't. And I know I have watched videos of people flying it in 30 mile an hour winds. That's up to them. I wouldn't fly it in that. It was coming back slow, but it came back smooth. And it came back, which I suppose is the main thing. So obviously the massive difference on this is a 4K camera on the front of it. And I've left it turned on, so you can see a proof I'm just coming from flying, because I've not even turned it off. So it's got this 4K camera on the front. Oh, sorry, my lens is on the other side. Of the, of the camera and I keep forgetting that so there's the four there's your camera it does say 4k on the front of it now and that is about the only difference on the two drones and obviously the props are different these ones have different color tips on and also the other bit of course is these motors do look different but you'd have to you'd struggle to notice it they both run on the same type of battery or similar type of battery these ones are slightly different but same thing in the back the battery goes in the back of here if you buy the fly more combo which is what this one is you get another two batteries and the charger and the only thing they've done is made this block gray instead of black which was on the original one and you get spare props and all that i'm not going to go through what you get in there you've all seen 100 unboxings so the major massive upgrade on this the controller is huge the controller on this is so much better than the original controller this is the controller that you get with the mavic air 2 and the reason i love this is because it's ergonomically superb your hands are going to go around it it's got the grips on the back it's more like flying with a fpv controller if you like a bit a bigger transmitter by the time you put your phone in the back everything just feels comfortable if you're a pincher or a thumber so if i fly fpv i fly pinch so i fly like this and that's because i can't get enough precision on the sticks with my thumbs to fly fpv when you're flying a 
one of these a camera quad you do not need that precision because it doesn't really matter anymore so i fly thumbs on top i love the controller i think it's amazing i think the controller is a huge upgrade the 4k camera makes this a very attractive package at the price i'll, I'll be honest with you if it had been 700 quid or 600 quid i wouldn't have bought it but at 549 with three batteries the upgraded controller and a 4k camera i think it's a really good deal so what don't I like about it well there isn't much i don't like what i don't like is the fact and i'm surprised at this that this camera still has only got 2.7k 60 30 frames a second there's no 60 frames a second on 2.7k now that's what i hoped would have happened i'd rather fly 2.7k with 60 frames a second and i would have forgot foregone the, the 4k 30 obviously it was never going to happen because the 4k 30 is a massive selling point on this drum i'd have preferred 2.7k 60 hopefully there'll be a firmware update or possibly not now, I don't know why, uh, the sensor on this is apparently the same size sensor that's on the original Mavic. Now, from what I can see, the picture certainly looks sharper than on the original Mavic. If you owned an original Mavic, it's a fantastic drone, but if you look at it compared to modern things, the camera is not as sharp as it is on, for instance, a Mavic Air or something like that. Not in my opinion, anyway. You can argue if you want in the comments, but in my opinion, it's not as good. So it's the same size 1 over 2.3 sensor as the mavic pro had it's not got the same sensor as the mavic air 2 so i've also seen some videos saying it's got the same it hasn't got the same sensor and it hasn't got the same abilities on the camera having said that it's quite a chunk change cheaper so like i say back to the kit you get you get the bag and everything the bag is not particularly great i'll be honest with you it's quite a cheap bag but it's a nice piece of kit and what it's done is uh, let's compare it to i've watched i haven't don't own one of these i do own uh, something i have bought something recently which is a bit different for me that I, I said i wouldn't buy again but i have bought something but let's compare this to the fema 2020 xase this to me is a miles better buy than that's ever going to be again i'm going to get some hate in the comments but at the end of the day this is dji and this is going to be a far better quality drone it's pocket sized and it does what this one did except it does definitely fly better in the wind and it's got a 4k camera and the fact the controller is just amazing if you've ever flown with one of these you're going to know what i'm talking about it's very precise it's a wonderful thing to hold in your hand it just works really well you get a prop guard holder which i think is quite fantastic actually i know people have said i watched a couple of videos, people saying these are garbage i actually like it good it holds the props in place to go in your bag and you're not going to fan it back with it so would I recommend it? At the minute, yeah, definitely, 100%. But I've only had very limited flight time with it. I can't see anything that's going to trip it up. The motors are definitely different. Now, one thing you can hear in the... Well, you're not going to hear that on video, but I don't do the... I didn't shoot it with the GoPro. I was going to do, but I decided not to do. But these are motors. You can hear the difference of the pitch when they're trying to hover. And they're going under quite a lot of strain. There's a lot of strain going on these motors. And there's a lot of things going on to keep this thing level in the air. But it works. I just hope it works. For, it keeps it going for as long as it should. And there was no issue with the motors. I thought there'd be an issue with the motors on these. There hasn't been. Because I don't seem to see many videos. People saying the motors are burnt out. Which is fantastic. And DJI to me just seems to be getting. Um, I don't know. Better and better. God knows what the Mavic pro 3 is going to be like and the mavic zoom 3 because they're just going to be fantastic this and the air are just mind-blowing for the price point now it's key to think this is price point dji have reacted to other people coming into market to make drones femi and hubs and everybody else and you can say what you want about them hate them or love them they do produce a decent picture and they can get 28 to 30 minutes flight time and they can do all the other things it says on the box what you don't get is the reliability of a dji product and that's what DJI have gone in for. They've also gone into that market now of the budget end, if you like, with a smaller drone than anybody else is doing to get the 250 weight limit. By the way, this is under 250. I've weighed it. Come, mine coming at 248 point something, which is quite bizarre. And yeah, you can't fault them. So like I say, massive plus points to me, the 4K camera, obviously, but I haven't checked it. Um, you're going to see on the end of the video what you think. 
and the controller. So for an initial overview, I think it's great. So I'm gonna leave you with some video footage coming up. I've flown it outside my house. You are gonna see that. By the way, if you're gonna comment that you shouldn't fly outside your house and blah de blah de blah, I will delete your comments, so don't waste your fingers typing on the keyboard. You're just wasting your time. I think the video footage will look good. It certainly looks great. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. When I fly outside here, I'm in a really big Wi-Fi built up area as you can imagine because every house has got Wi-Fi and everything else. This wouldn't get me to, it gets me to about the end of the street and then I start to lose and I can maybe get, I don't know, 250 metres here. That's here, obviously. This one, absolutely still at full um, transmission. It was fantastic. And that's because it's got hockey sync too. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, please we'll leave them in the comments down below. For once, I can definitely at the minute recommend a drone at the minute. I, and the reason I'm saying that, and I keep saying that, is because when you when I review stuff in the past, I've then gone back to stuff maybe four or five months later, and it, I'd look back at the video that I'd originally done, and I'd think, Jesus, I overrated that. Or I underrated that. Because... You just do an initial review and it's one flight or two flights, ten flights down the road, it might start developing faults. But fingers crossed it won't and I don't believe it will. But I'll do another review in a month's time when I've got ten flights under the under its belt. And let's take it from there. So thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and I'll leave you with the flight footage.
thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up